How to send automated email with MailChimp, MailChimp automated email sequences. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can send automated emails in an automated sequence on MailChimp. If you don't know what automated is, I'm going to discuss all of that right now. I'm going to give you all the basics. I'm going to sign you up with MailChimp and I'm going to take you through all of the overviews and basics of how to work with it. I'm going to teach you how to make campaigns and how to set yourself up with MailChimp and it's all going to be very simple, very easy. All I want you to do is to watch this video till the end and listen to all of my instructions very carefully. And if you do that, I guarantee you that by the end, you're going to properly know how to send automated emails using MailChimp. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to go to MailChimp. Now, if you don't know what MailChimp is, MailChimp is a great marketing automation and email platform. It's all in one marketing and it's great for sending emails, automations, and you can send bulk emails. It's great for your marketing, great for your e-commerce. You can get integrated with all different e-commerce websites there are like Shopify, WooCommerce, Stripe, Squarespace, SquareUp, all of these great websites. You can get familiarized with it very easily. It's very user-friendly and you will love it once you use it. So now that you're familiarized, we're going to go into the website and the website is called MailChimp.com. Now, once you're into MailChimp, you can see all the great different features it gives us, all the different uh, basics like convert with automations. Here's the automation and journey builder that we're going to be using. Uh, we can optimize with AIs. There's targeted segmentations and we can sync with integrations with different stores like Shopify, WooCommerce and all these different things. You can see their different plans and pricings, which provide different uh, features and different programs you can work around with. You can see that you can convert more customers at scale. This is the automation and this is how it works. And this is what we're going to be seeing today. So now that you know what MailChimp really is and what it uh, mocks about, we're going to go to sign up. Now, once we're on sign up, what we're going to do is we're going to choose any one of these plans. So I'm going to go with the free plan. You can go with the essential standard and premier plan. It's totally on you. I'm just going to go with the free one right now. Then it asks you to enter an email. So here's your basic login process. So now you're going to need to enter your own email. I'm going to go here. I'm using a temporary email right now, but I want you to use your proper full fledged email. Now, once you put in your email, it's going to put that as your username. Also, if you don't want that, you can change that, but I'm just going to keep it like that anyway. Then you're going to keep up a well integrated and well secure password. Once you do that, you're going to click on sign up. Now, once you click on sign up, it's going to load you up into the MailChimp setup page. And once you go to the setup page, first of all, it's going to ask you to activate and link your account. Now, if we come here, we're going to refresh it. And once we refresh it, what's going to happen is down here in our inbox or mailbox, we, as you can see over here, it says activate your MailChimp account. And here it says activate account. We're going to click on that. And once you click on that, it loads up for a bit. And once it loads up, what's going to happen is it's going to successfully um, create and set up our account. Now, this is the account setup tab. And here it's going to ask us a few questions and we have to answer them accordingly to optimize our page. So now that we're here, here's the free plan. Obviously, we're going to go with that and we're going to click on next. Once we do that, it asks our name. So let's put in your name. Once we put that in, it asks for a business name. Now, let's say our business is about newsletters. Now we're going to put that in and it's totally optional. You can put in your phone number, but if you don't want to, you don't really have to. Now, once you do that, you're going to click on next. We're going to wait for it to load up. Now, once it's fully loaded up, it's going to ask for your address. Make sure to add it because according to that, it's going to give you your different clients or details. Now, what's your top goal with MailChimp? You have to select any one of these or you can just click on I'm checking things out. You can't skip this part. Now, you have to choose this because according to this, you're going to get all the different templates, themes and designated uh, arc styles. If you're in driving sales, revenues or conversions, you're going to get templates according to that. Send emails, you're going to get templates according to emails, build a website, then it's going to be according marketing websites, etc. You get the point. 
I'm just going to click on I'm just checking things out for now. And once I do that, it's going to ask how many email subscribers do you have? Obviously, add any amount you have. You can skip this part, but I recommend that you fulfill it because, again, according to this, it's going to optimize our MailChimp page. I'm just going to click on none yet. I'm getting started. Uh, now, once I do that, it's going to say, how do you sell to your customers? Now, it can be an online marketplace like Etsy, Amazon, etc. It could be person to person. It could be social media or it could be your very own website or online store. Now, know this, that if you choose this option, it's going to ask for your uh, website URL because it basically integrates it or syncs your website with MailChimp. So you can skip it again, or you can just click on we're not currently selling. And once you do that, it comes to the URL part, which you can skip if you don't have a website. How should we stay in touch? You can choose any one of these. I'm just going to choose any one. It doesn't really matter because it just gives you news according to uh, MailChimp. Now, once I'm done with all of that, uh, it says you're on your way and it's properly created my MailChimp account. Now I'm going to click on let's go. And we are going to be taken to this place right here. So this is our main MailChimp dashboard. Now in our MailChimp dashboard is where all the magic is going to happen. So in this place, we can see that we have all these different types of features. So over here we have design, high performances, create your first email, set up an automation, grow your audience, connect your stores, etc. And if we come to the left side, we can see all these different things like campaigns, contacts, automations, analytics, website, content, and integrations. Now, all these have different features and different things to mess with. So in campaigns is obviously we're going to be doing all our work, which is where we can create our email templates, our designs, etc. That's what the campaigns do. And if we go in contacts, in contacts, we can see that we have all these different things like all contact sign up forms, tags, segments, surveys, etc. It's just basically different contacts. Now, this is automations. This is what we're going to be working with, and I'm going to get into that in a few seconds. Then in analytics, obviously, you can go through your uh, email or MailChimp analytics according to your revenue and other things. So here's the different engagement graphs, etc. You can check that out later. Now, in website, obviously, if you click on website, you can set up your own website or your store, etc. If we come down in content, we can see all the different contents and your files, products you have uploaded. And in integrations, we can see that we can integrate or connect with different tools and applications like Shopify, Canva, QuickBooks, Zapier, Google Business, Google Analytics, Instagram, WooCommerce, Squarespace, SquareUp, Stripe, etc. You can connect with all of these or any one of these if you want. It's totally upon you. But yeah, that's the basic gist of it. Now that you know what MailChimp really is about, now we're going to go into automations. Now, once you're into automations, you can see you welcome new customers even when you're offline. So what automation does is it basically automate welcome emails to make a great first impression. Basically, it automates emails. It sends emails at specific times. That's what automation basically is. So there are popular pre-built journeys because we're on the free plan. So we can have a preview of all these pre-built journeys. We can welcome them. This is obviously by MailChimp themselves. There's an abandoned cart reminder. Uh, this can be for any e-commerce store like Shopify or WooCommerce. You can email tag customers, create repeat customers. For example, if there's a customer that bought from you and you want to send them an email again to like so they buy from you again, you can choose that. So yeah, that's basically the main gist of automations. Now to create your automation, you're going to click on create journey. And once that loads up, you're going to name your journey. For example, I'm just going to name it random gibberish right now. Now, once you do that, you're going to click on start building. Now, once you click on start building, you can choose any starting point in which you can add tags, add signups, birthdays. Just click on any one according to your taste. And once you do that, you're going to include imported contacts. And obviously, these are going to be the contacts that you're going to send your automated emails to. And once you do that, you're going to click on save starting point. And from here on out, you're going to start your journey and you can connect different things you can add journey points for uh, you can add if else loops you can add percentage splits 
you can do all of this and once you do all that all you need to do is you're going to continue and obviously you're going to need to have an upgraded plan to continue so make sure you upgrade your plan but yeah after all that is done that is how you send automated emails using mailchimp so that's the basic gist of it and i hope this video was helpful and informative to you if you want to see more videos like this please let me know but yeah i hope you all have a great day that was all for me and i will see you all next time goodbye